It's a real squirrel playing the piano. What is going on in this world? This is M60564, the Plow and Hearth Piano Wildlife Feeder. It's at a clearance price of $20.34. And today we've got it on three easy payments of $6.78. There's no reorder on it. I will give you the measurements real quick. It measures seven and a half inches wide, seven and a half inches high, and it is seven inches deep. It's a, a piano design, resin construction. It is for outdoor use, so it's going to be good and strong and sturdy as we saw that real squirrel sitting right on top of it. <laughs> and in here, they'll peck away at those keys or nibble at those keys because inside they've got wonderful feeders um, with the seeds. Nancy Brown Mueller, I would not Hello. expect anything less. Than <laughs> good to see you. Thank you. You for changed. You changed I your clothes around. I wanted to be bright again for you these little are. guys. Thank you so Tell much. Tell me about them. They're adorable. This is so cute. This is by Plow and Hearth, and Plow and Hearth is a company that's going to help you add those really cool touches to your outdoor living space. And they're nature lovers, just like I am, just like many of you are. I know a lot of you feed birds because I'm always posting pictures of the birds that I have in my garden. I have this feeder in my garden. <laughs> I've had it out since I think this was the first plow and hearth item I put out when I got back from plow and hearth in the fall because it's so adorable. I love that you're going to put the seed right here and then you can either set it out just flat like we have here on a table out you know on a, um, a, a rail if you have it or whatever mm -hmm. I'm going to turn it around because I want you to see there's also a keyhole so if you'd like to hang this like on a tree trunk or on a fence post or something you certainly can do that as well but this is designed to be used in all kinds of weather because I know the birds get hungry yeah. year round and yeah. it's adorable because it looks like they're playing the piano. By the way, only it is. There's so only cute. 800 of these to go around. The color, the look, the resin, the weight of it is so authentic. It is so real. I love that. Look at that. So darling. Now watch this. It's going to pop down there, sit on the seat and um, play the piano while he grabs some some snack. These are so cute, and I love the versatility, too, that you can go ahead and hang them if you'd like mm -hmm. to or let them sit flat. Winter, they say, is when we all kind of forget about the birds, and that is when they need us most. So this spring and this summer, get them coming. Get them used to coming to your place, and then don't forget about them in the fall and the winter because they've already trained them to come by this spring and summer yes. when it's mm -hmm. easy, That's and right. then you keep it going. So that's why it's important to get this started now. So, and, and if you have uh, squirrels or chipmunks in your neighborhood, and like I do, it's so nice to give them a special spot because very often they're going to kind of go to your bird feeders. True. So if you give them something that they can kind of go to, maybe you can start kind of giving them the idea that this is where they're going to go. And so whether you have the birds, as you're seeing there, just going ahead and getting something out of that bird feeder, you can choose whatever kind of seed you want to put in there. And it just makes it so easy for them to be able to access it. Now, the other nice thing about this one is if you're setting it flat like we have right here, you're going to get birds like cardinals and so forth that don't, they're kind of more ground feeders. They're they not don't perchers. Like, they're they don't not like perchy. to perch. So they're going to, you know, take advantage of this a little more easily than they would those kind that are, you know, the kind where they perch on it. So I love the design of this. It's made out of resin and it's just darn, just like done so adorably. And then I love the two well little birds. Oh, this is a deep well yeah. back here. I just kind of want to look at it real quick. Oh, okay. Yeah, you have a deep, deep well back there mm -hmm. that you can, and I also like that that seed, it has this overhang, so it's not going to get rained on. Oh, and there's also a hole in there too. Oh, for yeah, drainage. Drain hole. Yeah, there's yeah. a little drainage hole Yeah, right in here. That's nice. Yep. Wow. And I do like the weight, so if you do, listen yeah. to that. It's if nice. You, yeah, no, no little bird or big bird is going to knock this over, not even yeah. a squirrel. Oh, uh, yeah, so, that's true. It yeah, stays put. Yeah, it stays put. That's a beauty, you guys. And from Plow and Hearth. Can we talk about that? Because sure. I kind of just skid right no over problem. that. Plow and Hearth is a company out of Madison, Virginia. You know, they always are bringing us great creative ideas because they have in-house designers. Janice is one of them. Number of people that are coming up with great ideas for you to add that fun touch to your garden. And so I love it when they've come up with something that, you know, is functional. Listen, bird feeders. Bird feeders sometimes can be kind of plain. How cute is it that you have something like this? And the other thing is too, maybe you're someone that loves it. Maybe you played the piano. 
Maybe you love this, but you live in a place where you can't feed birds. Mm. So I'm gonna give you a couple of other ideas. Who does that? Where well, can you live in I, here? Well, in an apartment, you know, oh, or something that you can't. So okay. you could put this on the counter and you could put your rings in it when you're washing your dishes. Well, I like that too. Or I actually, I'll put this on my Facebook page. I took some um, faux succulents and I just tucked them right into here and it was so cute. I think you could actually, because you said that really deep well, mm. I'm gonna try this later. I'm gonna put a little bit of soil in and try to put some succulents in I there. And can. I bet you yeah. could, because they don't take much. No, they don't take much yeah. at all, and they, neither do they take much water. Yes. Or those, do you ever see those air plants? Yes. That you, you, could, you plant, they don't take soil, they're yep. like air. Yeah. I don't know, it's the weirdest thing. I don't know how thing. that works. I wanna look into it that. It is designed to be a feeder. Look and there cute. you see that darling yeah. little squirrel. That was in Janice's, she's the designer at Plow and Hearth. That's in her yard, she took it this winter. And that is a real squirrel, not included with the feeder. <laughs> <laughs> Provide your own but squirrel. That's right. <laughs> oh, look at how beautiful those birds are. You know, it just depends on what bird feed you put in there yes. as to what birds will come. You know, there's a way to get the yellow, those bright yellow finches. There's a way to get the, the robins right. and, and the blue jays. You name it. It's up to you. Uh, it just depends on the food. You all know that. Three easy payments of $6.78. Clearance price and no reorder on it. Only 700 of those left. Yikes, girls. Nancy, thank you. Thank you. you and so I'll see much. you in a bit. Okay. Mwah. Oh no, they, they said that was it for you. No, do we have another one, Kevin? With Nancy? Oh 